I'm sure that at some point in your life you all got a chance to see a device with a scale consistent of a row of LEDs which light up according to the level of, of the input or output signal. For the most part such scale is used in musical instruments where the beautifully flashing columns of LEDs indicate the sound level for the right and left channels. However, this can also be found in other devices like say probe voltmeters used to measure voltage level at the measured point. Such voltmeters come in rather handy if there is no need to know the exact value but we do need to understand whether it's low voltage or high voltage circuit. LED scales are also used in various devices designed for adjusting satellite equipment, like satellite finders for instance. Here instead of the exact numerical value for the signal, we just need to see the visual relative signal. We get five LEDs here, but if we move a little to the left, there are six LEDs already. It looks as if all of the above instruments are rather complicated, but to be honest, you can easily reproduce many of them. All you need is to assemble the core of these devices, an LED scale reacting to the level of the input signal. This is where the AN6884 microchip comes in. Now what is it? AN6884 is an integral driver of five LEDs with logarithmic display of the input signal. This microchip is especially valuable in its large working voltage range of 3.5 to 16 volts, low turn on current for the LEDs 15MA, which incidentally protects the latter from burning out, and good sensitivity should with the help of a built-in amplifier. Besides, the microchip comes with a logarithmic display scale. So to assemble the scale, we'll need uh, one AN6884 microchip, five LEDs, two capacitors for 2.2 and 2 microfarads respectively, two uh, 10 kilo ohms resistors, one for AC and one for DC, another DC resistor with a rating depending upon the supply voltage of your device. It can be determined using the table contained in the microchip specifications. We will go with a 51 ohm uh, resistor since we will be using the 9 volt Krona battery. Let's assemble our scale according to the benchmark circuit for connecting the microchip. And now we can power the assembled circuit as you see none of the LEDs light up. This is not surprising though because we forgot about the signal. Let's connect any signal source to the input. Let's go with an MP3 player. We'll use an AC resistor to adjust the level when the first LED lights up. And here is our rather cute LED scale indicator for the signal level. The assembled circuit can be used as an indicator of battery charge or voltage in unknown tablet batteries. All you need to do is uh, adjust the circuit using AC resistor so that it is clear which LED lights up when. If modified by various elements, our circuit can just as well be used as a current probe, a watt meter or a probe voltmeter. All you need is a bit of creative touch.